There is a lot of debate about the lower back and the safety of exercises involving flexion and extension of the spine. At the end of the day though, it's not so much about whether a rounded or extended back position is good or bad, but rather about your ability to control whatever position you are using. One thing is for certain, if you lose control of your lumbar spine and the muscles involved, you will get hurt at some stage. For rounded back or extended back exercises, it all comes down to your level of practice and proficiency in strengthening those positions, which should be done progressively over time, like with any other body part and exercise. Whether that be progression in weight, leverage or other forms of loading, or even progressions in speed and range of motion. The spine is adaptable and it's best not to think of lumbar flexion or extension as good or bad, but rather how good or bad we are in certain positions. With that said, the more extreme the range of motion, the more difficult it will be. When we are in hyperextension with our lumbar spine, the lower back muscles are maximally shortened. When we are completely rounded or in full flexion, the lower back muscles are maximally lengthened. You can be very strong in neutral or even slight flexion or extension, but it's very hard to be really strong at extreme ranges of motion. For instance, you can ensure your spine against injury during lighter flexion-based movements by training your lower back full flexion with Jefferson curls, but you're not going to be able to use heavy loads or get a deadlift personal record in this position safely. When it comes to your lower back, remember that you need to progressively build strength and control in whatever range you're using and that your lower back joint won't be at its strongest at extreme ranges of flexion and extension, but rather somewhere in the middle towards neutral. Whatever lower back position you're training, the most important thing to do is apply progressive overload gradually and systematically. Do this and you'll develop a stronger and more resilient lower back without the fear of injury. See the description below for more on how to strengthen your lower back and execute common exercises for this body part correctly.